A Reference Interaction by Amini Mahmoud and Chandria Campos. Welcome to the Kamud Public Library. This reference transaction is presented by Amini Mahmoud and Chandria Campos. Today you will observe a face-to-face -face reference question and interview, observe RUSA guidelines being implemented in an everyday library interaction, and learn about some of the resources that libraries have to offer. Our client is Maya, a student doing a research paper on libraries, and she wants to find information for her Libraries Throughout History course. She isn't confident about researching her chosen topic, and she wants recommendations on resources and specific types of articles that cover her topic. Maya, a student at the college, enters the library to work on a research paper. She's writing about Melville Dewey and having problems finding exactly what she needs. Maya decides to walk to the desk where she sees two librarians. One looks up and smiles. Hi, I'm Leslie. Welcome to the library. How can I help you today? Oh, I'm not busy at all, but I'm going to pretend like I am. I'm going to use this computer. Ha ha. Hi, my name is Maya. I was hoping I could get some help finding some articles for a paper I'm writing. Sure, I can help you with that. Can you tell me what kind of topic you're writing about? I'm supposed to be researching libraries. It's for a Libraries Throughout History course. Oh, that sounds interesting. Um, is this for a library or a history course? Both. I just started library school and still don't really know how to properly research. I figured this is the right place. Well, you definitely came to the right place. Now, before we get started, what kinds of resources are you looking for? I'm hoping to mainly use articles for this paper. My textbook has a lot, but I'm supposed to find a few more articles to support my topic. Well, speaking of topics, do you know what direction you want to explore about libraries and history? Kind of. I am interested in women in librarianship, so I'd like to focus on that for now. Wonderful. Let's go over to the computers and see what kind of articles we can find for you. All right, let's get started. While you're logging in, can you tell me what kind of information you've found so far? I mainly just have my textbook that I've used as a basic reference, but not much else. No problem. Now let's break this topic down a little. You told me that you wanted to write a paper on the history of libraries with a focus on women in librarianship. Did I get that right? Yep, that's it. Is there a particular time in history that interests you, or maybe a particular figure that you can focus on? I've always been intrigued by Melvin Dewey's impact on women in librarianship, so I'm hoping there's some material for me to work with. That sounds like a great topic. Let's try to find something that fits. Have you used any of our or your school's databases before? Not really. I've used the basic search for some other classes, but things are ramping up now, so I need to learn how to find what I need. That's understandable. I remember being in the same position. All right, head to your library's homepage at library.valdosta.edu. I'm going to show you how to do a search within Galileo. Are you familiar with this database? A little. I've used it in the past for assignments, but I'm not sure how to begin with this one. That's all right. We can begin by creating some search terms. We know that we want to see how Melville Dewey impacted women in librarianship, so we can start with his name and the phrase, women in librarianship. Okay, so I'll type that into the search box. Good. Now, before we hit search, let's incorporate Boolean operators into our search terms. Could you type AND between the two phrases? What does this do? Well, it lets the database know that we're looking for articles with both of these phrases in them. It'll help us eliminate irrelevant search results. Wow, I think I may have heard of this before. Okay, so I've added the Boolean operator. Should I hit search now? I'd like to help you get as many relevant results as possible. Let's ensure that the phrases will be searched for as a whole by putting quotation marks around them. We'll keep Dewey's whole name and women in libraries together. Done. Hmm. I'm wondering if women in libraries is too restrictive. Is there a way to include articles that reference the impact Dewey had on one woman or in a single library? 
Great question. We can truncate some of the words in the phrase. In Galileo, we should be able to use an asterisk for this. Wait, what's truncation? It's essentially a sort of wild card. We replace the E in the word women, for example. This will enable a database to find material with both the words women and woman. When we add it to the end of the root word of libraries, we'll be able to get results that include the terms library and libraries. I hope I explained that well enough. You did. Okay, I get it. We're going to include variations of my phrase by using truncation. I'll just add the asterisks to the areas that you mentioned. Now do we click search? Yes. Let's see what results we get. Whoa, 4,369 results. Could I limit the search to only scholarly journals? That's one of the requirements for references. Definitely. Okay, we're at 186. Now I'm going to try the full text option. You're doing very well. Let's see what happens. It's not much of a change, but I think I can work with 159 results better than over 4,000. Thank you so much for your help. No problem. There are many resources available to you at the library. There are also research guides that offer pages to help guide you in the right direction. And I bet we have some microfiche and other things here that could be interesting. Let me know if you're interested and I can show you how to get to those as well. I will, thanks. Before I leave you to it, I wanna show you how to get to our databases. It can be a powerful tool if you want a more specific reference depending on the subject. Let's go back to the library's page. Under resources, you'll find databases A through Z. Go ahead and click on that. Sounds good. Now you can either do one of two things for our purposes today. Let's start by a subject search and you'll see some streamlined major subjects. Let's click on literature, language, and literary criticism. And then let's specify where we want to go by clicking literature and literary criticism. Now you'll see some databases populate based on these subject areas. And one of the most powerful general databases you can use here is Academic Search Complete. This is good to know, especially for my other classes. Exactly. Now let's go back one page and instead of clicking browse by subject, you'll select databases A through Z. For our purposes, let's click on L for library. Let's see what we find. Okay, so it looks like there are four with the word library in them. Can I use any of these to search for articles? Yes. Now, it's good to get to know the databases a bit before you jump in. So you can always click on more right below the title to get an overall description of what the database can do for you. Go ahead and click on Lisa and I'll show you. Okay, so it looks like this one might be a good reference, but if it only provides abstracts, it might not be my first choice. That's okay. It's good to know how to navigate this digital landscape, and this is useful information for us. Now let's go back one screen and let's try Library Literature and Information Science Retrospective. I think that might be a great one for you. Okay, now this looks the same as the last search we did. Yep, they look similar, except for the green title in the top left, which tells you which database you're in. You can use the same tools I taught you before in this database too, so it'll give you a bit more variety. And you can rest assured that this database is solely focused on libraries. Give that a try and I'll check on you later. If you forget anything or need any help in this next phase, don't hesitate to come find me. Will do. Thank you, Leslie. You've given me a lot to work with. Hi, Maya. How's the search going? Did you find anything you can work with? Totally. I have six that I think I'm going to use for now. Awesome. Okay. Please come back if you need any more help or any more ideas on how to move forward. We're open until six today, but you can also contact the librarian through our chat or text service as well. Convenient if you're cozy at home and need to get help fast. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. I had no idea you could do all that online. I have no excuse now not to do my research. <laughs> Whatever works. Take care, Maya. It was nice to meet you. 
Thanks, Leslie. You too. You're a lifesaver.